honestly one of the heaviest bands I've ever been in. Even if it is like 45 to a minute long punk songs, we're all very serious about. Behind Banana Vacuum, obviously the comedy of the, of the festival, uh, kind of great uh, tease because it's like, it was like, it was Hank was keeping it, like it was just taking its last possible moment for to do the, to do the twist. We're like, we're sitting there in the audience going, oh, it's just a regular kind of band, punk band, okay, interesting characters, blah, blah, blah. And we see the mark, we see the characters like face, and then all of a sudden we hear the comment, oh, they're much shorter. Oh, they're much, well, there must be a little person, or you're trying to, you're trying to just, like put the, put the, uh, everything together. And of course, it's just a kid. And then when we see the kid, we're like, whoa. And it's like, it's like, then all of a sudden the film kind of takes off and goes from there. It's kind of an interesting kind of twist to the documentary style. We didn't see the twist coming, and that's why it works so well. Um, when he said, oh, we're twice the size of him, I, I thought that was just an exaggeration or something. I didn't take it as a literal comment. And then when we see, oh, it really is twice the size of him. So, so it worked on that level. Um, what can I say? It, it, they're, they're, it sounds like they're trying to make an album like this 48-hour film challenge or a 24-hour novel or it's something of that nature, I take it, that they're in some kind of a competition to, and I'd like to know how they came out in, in the competition with their album. The movie starts very interesting. The band members are talking and it's not quite clear whom they are talking about. All of a sudden count is kid and uh, everything goes around the kid and even though the problem is adult, yet the centerpiece is the kid, and kid understand that he is the centerpiece, and they understand it. But uh, <laughs> a moment I was looking and thinking, it's just this kid got the freedom to behave the way we want, and many kids doesn't get that kind of opportunity, and is that what made him contradict to the school? school children, he shows even his hatred because in that school he can't behave like that, right? This is the scene where he's getting freedom to act the way he wants. It's crazy moves, it continues the same phrase, it's kind of art that makes him like try. It's very interesting how you can open kids, that you can open in different ways. Kid psychology is very flexible. And now this is one of the versions that they just happened. They opened him <laughs> and started dancing around him. Yeah, that's very interesting. I was thinking about the educational system and how a kid is, is so smart he can actually learn by himself and hate the school at the same time. So I'm, I was just thinking how is going to be the education in the future? Mm -hmm. Maybe the kids will own their own a way of learning and that will be very interesting. When he is performing, he gets his message across 100%. Like you know what he's about, what he is talking about. Yeah, listen, I would, I would be, I would be over the moon to be a kid now. And I have two kids right now, and I'm like, they're they live in the best life because there's so much to learn. There's so much education. They can watch Paw Patrol for four hours straight and without a break. And like, I wish I could do that. So uh, <laughs> when I was a kid, it's the best time. As a teacher, I love the fact that that kid was the center of attention because usually we just downplay kids, what they think, oh, you're just a kid. But kids have a lot to say and we got to listen. Even if it is, I hate avocado, I hate celery. And it just reminds me how even as adults, we need some kind of venue to sort of like splurt out all the things that are frustrating us, all the things we hate about our job or, or hate about politics or whatever, and just be like kids, like just free yourself. So that's what I love, that they made the kid the focus. We need to do more of that. I just wanted to give a shout out to the older brother who isn't really being mentioned and wasn't clearly wasn't like the the focus of the film, but I recognize that he's the one who sort of saw this opportunity and decided to create this band. You know, he got his friends together and clearly he saw something in his younger brother and said, I want to do this for him. And he created this space and almost created this world for his younger brother who was kind of just lucky enough to be there and to have someone to create this opportunity for him to express himself and be the center of attention and be the center of this band that and have all these fans that adore him. Um, so I just think that's 
like as an older sibling uh, myself, I think like that's just so great that he was able to do that for his brother.